decisions, decisions, my friends, uh, sometimes decisions can be really, really tough. Especially if you are on the market for a new phone and you really want to get something that offers manual cameras. So right here we have a look at the uh, HTC 10 and the S7. We want to take a look at the uh, camera interface and features and hopefully help you guys to see which phones offers the best feature for the camera. So the question again, now, if you have the option between the S7 and the HTC 10 in terms of the camera, which one do you choose? Well, as far as the uh, megapixel, both phones offers, I believe it's called Ultra Pixel Technology 12, 12 Ultra Pixels on the uh, rear camera. Now, as far as the uh, front-facing camera, both phones offers wide-angle 5 megapixel front-facing camera. Now, time to take a look at the interface and all the features on these uh, two cameras. Hopefully, I can help you to decide which one is for you. First thing I want to show you is a quick access to the cameras. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get to find anything here on the HCC that will give me a quick access, but on the Samsung, double press the home button and it takes you to the camera. Uh, on this phone, I tried to double press uh, the power button several times. It doesn't do anything. I also tried to double press the volume down or the volume up and it doesn't do anything. Before we start looking at the interface, uh, let me go ahead and talk about some of the specs. So like I said before at the beginning of the video, 12 megapixel rear camera on both, or I believe it's called ultra pixel. Now as far as the aperture, here are some differences on the HTC 1.8 versus 1.7 on the uh, S7. Now also uh, dual tone flash on the HTC, there's just one LED flash on the uh, S7. As far as the sensor, and I apologize if I say these numbers wrong, I'm going to include it in the description of this video. Uh, one 2.3 inch sensor size with 1.55 ultra pixel on the HTC versus one 2.6 inch sensor size with 1.4 ultra pixel size on the S7. Both phones can record video in up to 4K at 30 frames per second. However, on the S7, we can record video in 1080p at 60 frames per second, which the HTC doesn't offer. Also, as far as a slow motion, we can record with the HTC in 720 and 120 frames versus on the Samsung, we can record in 720 up to 240 frames. Both phones offer the uh, HDR mode. As far as the front facing camera, both phones offers five megapixel one angle camera. Uh, on the HTC, again, 1.8 aperture versus 1.7 on the uh, S7. Let's start on the left side right now. So on the Samsung, we see more options right here. We get access to the gallery by pressing right there. Uh, right here, we see the quick access to the gallery on the HTC. All right, so uh, right here we get an option to record video on the Samsung. You can take pictures while you are recording. You can pause the video and stop the video. Uh, right here on the HTC, you can take pictures. And we are in the uh, picture mode right now. And you can switch right here to recording. If you start the recording, you can also take pictures while you are recording by pressing right here on the HTC. And you can also uh, pause the video on the HTC. Now, right here on the Samsung, the next one is uh, the access between the rear and the front facing camera. And then on the HTC, we have that switch right here at the bottom between the uh, rear and front facing camera. And it looks to me, I don't know if you guys are telling me, but it looks to me like the Samsung switches uh, faster between the rear and front facing camera. Take a look at that. Now here's the uh, HTC. Take a look at that delay. Wow, that's a lot of delay. That's not good. That's not good at all. There is like a second and a half delay or something like that to switch between front and rear camera. You might be able to swipe. No, there's no option to swipe down the screen now. All right. So uh, that's as far as the left controls. One more thing that we have right here on the Samsung is the access to mode. Uh, on the mode, we get selfie, wide selfie, video collage, live broadcast, and virtual shot, and you can even download more. Now, right here, let's take a look at the wide selfie option. Uh, you can basically start right there and start moving the phone from one corner 
and then next to the other corner and there it is and so now it capture a white selfie uh, picture so here's the uh, white selfie picture uh, now uh, and that's a full screen so uh, now let's uh, take a look again here at the uh, rear camera and let's go to the other side on the uh, on the HTC if we swipe right here this is going to give me access to the other modes or the other options uh, you can swipe up and down right here through this uh, menu at the top one it's photo so let's click there and see what else we have so we get access right here to control the flash out of flash no flash or full flash uh, the next one right here you can control the timer it gives you two seconds five seconds and ten seconds the next one is the aspect ratio of the pictures uh, both phones by default they do the uh, 12 megapixels at 4x3 now if you want a, a full screen you have to go down to 9.1 megapixels on the Samsung and on this phone you have to go down to I believe it's also uh, let's see here yeah 9 megapixels on the HTC so you get the 16 by 9 so the next one on the HTC is a Zoe camera a panorama and the next one here is a pro option which we're gonna access right here on the uh, S7 there is a pro option now this is when these phones gets or the camera gets really interesting uh, we can control pretty much everything and anything right here on the uh, HTC take a look at all these uh, different controls uh, you can control the ISO uh, I believe this is the uh, saturation or something like that and this one right here is the focus manual focus you can control it here on the uh, HTC so that's uh, interesting here on the Samsung uh, we get a little extra uh, right here you can do custom and then you can preset your custom sets, sets uh, right here for the uh, manual controls. Uh, here is a look at different filters that you can apply on the uh, Samsung. Uh, this one right here is the auto focus, or not the auto focus, I'm sorry, the manual focus that we can co control here on the uh, S7. I believe this is called white balance. Uh, there is the ISO. I don't know if this is a shorter speed, I'm not 100% sure, I apologize for that. Uh, but as you guys can see, pretty much both phones offers about the same in terms of the manual controls for the camera option. However, this is really cool right here, custom. You can add three customizations for your settings on the manual camera on the Samsung. We don't have that on the HTC. Now, on the other hand, right here on the, on the uh, Samsung, uh, you get right here the option to do multi out of focus or you can do center out of focus uh, if you do center there is this option right here center weighted matrix spot and if you do multi out of focus it looks like you can also do this right here uh, you get the timer, you get the flash, and again the uh, picture and video size and the main settings of the phone. So let's go back right here to the uh, auto mode on both phones. Now the next one here on the uh, on the HTC, it's uh, the option to do video. Uh, when you select video, uh, if you swipe this here, uh, this is going to give you the option to control the video quality. The maximum is uh, 4K, then we have HD. Uh, QVGA, MMS, and 4K. Uh, right here on the uh, Samsung, if we click right here, there's the options to video sizes. The maximum is 4K, then we have QHD or Quad HD. Uh, full HD is 60 frames. Now we have full HD here, so I don't think it offers 60 frames per second. It's not disclosing the uh, description of the uh, the specs but there it is at 60 frames 1080 on the Samsung and then we have below full HD which is uh, 1080 so I, I believe that's what they mean here on the uh, HTC when it says a uh, full HD is just 1080p alright 
So the next one on the uh, HTC is a Hyperlapse, which I believe we also have right here on the uh, Samsung. Uh, Hyperlapse right there, I believe that's a fast motion. Uh, the next one is a slow motion. We have slow motion right here on the uh, S7, which I believe is up to 240 frames per second. On this phone, the HTC is 120 frames. Uh, we get the selfie photo, uh, selfie video, and then main settings right here. Now, when you look at the uh, main settings on the HTC, you get the option to do the grid, uh, geo tag, shutter sound, camera options. Under camera options, you get auto smile capture, auto selfie capture, voice capture, touch to capture, uh, volume bottom options. So if you click right there, you can select you know what options you want the uh, volume bottom to do. And the last one is storage tips and help and reset to default. All right, so uh, let's go back here to photo, and we're gonna switch to the uh, front facing camera. Uh, let me finish right here showing you guys on this side on the uh, S7. So we get the HDR mode, and we also get effects right here, which I have not seen on the HTC. This is really cool right here. Uh, we also get the uh, flash. Uh, you can control right here the picture side where we talk about that, and here are the main settings. And you can do a motion photo. This is a new option. You can do tracking out of focus. Uh, you get video stabilization, which I believe we don't have on the HTC. Uh, quick launch, which I already showed you double pressing the home button. Uh, you can send the pictures in raw file. And you can control the uh, volume keys and shorter sound. And you can reset. All right, so now here's a look at the uh, front facing camera on both. And I believe we're looking at the uh, white selfie. I don't want that. But another thing I want to show you here on the Samsung is the video collage, which uh, basically you can take uh, four different videos at the same time, and the camera is going to stitch them together in one single, single video. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so other than that, also you get the option to live broadcast, uh, which we don't have on the HTC. And now we go back here. Actually, let's click on download more. Because this is really cool, and this is something we don't have on the uh, HTC. So take a look at this. Uh, you get sports shots, surround shot. This is really, really cool, especially for like a real estate or something like that. Animated gift. You get the dual cameras. And as a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to download the dual camera. Okay, we downloaded the uh, dual camera, so we click on mode. And we go down right here, and there it is, a dual cameras. Click right there. So as you guys can see, we are looking at the uh, front-facing camera here on the uh, S7 and the rear camera at the same time. I believe you can resize this, and you can also move it to a different position. Uh, let's see what else we have here. So there it is, our instant peak. That's how it looks like. Uh, you get the uh, fish eye. There's a fish eye. Uh, you get stamp, oval, blur, window split. You can actually split the screen too. Take a look at that. So I think this is a really helpful uh, feature. What can I say, guys? Our final conclusions. You know what? I have to give it to the uh, S7. The reason why is because not so much in terms of the uh, quality of the pictures or videos. I think for the most part, you're going to get the same quality on both phones. Both phones offer the uh, 12 ultra pixel rear camera and five megapixel uh, front facing camera with one angle. However, on the uh, S7, you can do 1080 at 60 frames per second. That's super clear video that you cannot do with the HTC. Also, you can do uh, slow motion in 240 frames versus 120 frames on the HTC. And last but not least to mention, uh, there are some really nice uh, features as far as the uh, dual camera. You can download more. There are also some really nice uh, filters that we can apply even before we start recording or taking a picture on the S7 that we don't have on the HTC. So my friends, uh, give me your thoughts or your comments and I will see you later. Peace out.